Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to show you one of my PowerPoint lessons called Money. Uh, this lesson is designed for grade three or four students, but um, depending on the level of your students, it can also work uh, in grade five or even six. Um, in this lesson, students uh, understand the concept of money. They learn how to talk uh, about prices in English, how to say prices in English. There's even a math problem that your students uh, need to solve together in class. And this lesson ends in dialogue practice. And there is a very interesting and fun game at the end. Uh, this lesson contains 63 slides, so it's a long lesson. There's enough material, I think, even for two classes if you um, want to do it this way. Or if your students are really proficient, then you can finish it in one class. This lesson is available um, for sale in my store in Teachers Pay Teachers and Taobao. All the links are in the description below. But before you buy it, I want you to see what you are buying. I want you to uh, see the content of the lesson. So without uh, further ado, please enjoy this walkthrough. Have a great day. Bye. Let's take a good look at this PowerPoint lesson. Here's the first slide. Money by Teacher Val. I'm going to skip uh, the class rules because they don't change. They are the same. Okay, let's read. Um, so in this part, you read it together with your students. We use money to buy things we want. Most people have to work hard to make money. And then uh, you can tell your students that money does not just come from mom and dad's wallet. And as you can see, this word is hyperlinked. If you click on it, it's going to take you to the slide which um, illustrates this word. So let's do that. Oh no, I don't have any money in my wallet. Well, this way you don't really need any translation because visuals do all the work. Next, money does not grow on trees and money comes from work. Next slide. In the next slide, you can say that people have used money for more than 4,000 years. Before people used money, they traded things they had for the things they wanted. And again, this word is hyperlinked. If you click on it, it will take you to the slide, which is going to illustrate the concept of trade. Let's take a look. I want to buy a cow. What do you want for it? I want six goats. Six goats are too many for one cow. How about five? Okay, five goats for a cow. Deal. Okay, let's go on. Money comes in coins and in paper. Today, the paper, money and coins that people use are called currency. Each country has its own currency. And the next four slides um, illustrate and explain four currencies. China, uh, the US, the UK and the European Union. Uh, what can we do with money? We can make money, spend money, save money, waste money, lose money, or pay money. I have the translations in Chinese for my uh, for the teachers who work in China, but you can uh, very easily change it to your language. Yeah, so uh, you just click on the uh on the slide and then uh write the translation in your language 
Exercise number one, count the coins. This is a simple one. You ask your students, how many coins can you see? And they're gonna say, I can see eight coins. Uh, add the coins, what is the total? Most probably they're not gonna be able to say the price correctly in English. That's why you have this button here. Click here to learn more. If we click on the button, it's going to take us to the slide where we are going to learn how to talk about prices in English. And you explain, um, yeah, how we say prices in English in these countries. Uh, then you click on the home button, and it's gonna take you to the slide you came from. Exercise number two, read and match. Here, your students need to match the prices um, with the phrases, just like that. Exercise number three. Solve the math problem, and it is a math problem with two questions. You can read it to your students, or if you want to save your voice, you can click on the play button and listen to the recording. Question number one is how much money does he have? Uh, on the next slide, uh, the students can see the answer and check if they got it correctly. You can actually do it as a group activity. Question number two, uh, do the sum. Uh, after he buys the book, how much money does he have? And again, on the next slide, they can check uh, their answers. Exercise number four, dialogue practice. So here's the first dialogue. Uh, you can read it together with the students, but before you read it together with the students, it's best if they listen to it first. So uh, you can read it to them or you can uh, click on the play button and listen to the recording. Let me um, click actually on the button so you can hear uh, what it sounds like. Can I help you? Yes. How much is that t-shirt? It is 12 pounds. Can I try it on? Yes. What size are you? I am a size S. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Also, um, I want to point out that uh, the word size is hyperlinked. So if you click on it, it's going to take you to the, uh, to the slide, which explains uh, what size means. So here you can say that since people come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, clothes come in different shapes and sizes too. Uh, and then you practice this dialogue together with the students, boys versus girls, um, group versus group, uh, whatever works in your class. This is dialogue number two. Uh, you can listen to it uh, if you click on the play button or you can read it yourself. And we finish this lesson with a fun game, which I call fun time. Um, this is a very simple game, but students are going to love it. They need to click on the number and uh, they need to start from one and then progress to number seven. And they don't get any points. Um, they just win a prize and the prizes get better with each number. So let me show you. Uh, let's click on number one. And here's the question. Uh, also, I want to say there are seven questions here and this activity recaps the whole lesson. So uh, all the questions are based on the lesson you've just taught. So question number one, what money do people use in the US? And in this activity, you can uh, invite two students from one team um, to uh participate in this dialogue once you didn't ask the question the other one answers or it could be like a, a student from each team and the, uh, you need to uh, they need to answer it correctly the correct answer is in the us people use dollars and cents um this is it and then you click next and congratulations you have won a pair of headphones so um, I guarantee you they're going to love it. 
then we can click for example on number two what money do people use in the uk in the uk people use pounds and pence and congratulations you have won an iphone and let me show you one more one more let's say number four what money do people use in china in china people use yuan jiao and fen woohoo congratulations you have won twelve hundred dollars good for you <laughs> Okay, and here's an optional activity. I emphasize it, optional. Uh, homework assignment, or you can do it in class. This is actually, um, it can be like a totally different lesson. So we make a poster. You will need a piece of paper and a few colored pencils. And in this activity, you need to make a shop. Draw pictures of the things in your shop and then write the prices then write one or two dialogues and practice them so take a look they can yeah uh, this can be a group activity for example this could be like um something you want to do in your next class to review everything yeah so they can create their own shops and they can write the dialogues and they can practice in front of the class you know <laughs> okay okay i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough um and if you did if you did you are welcome to go to my shop on teachers pay teachers and buy this lesson right there this lesson is also available on taobao thank you very much and have a wonderful day